Wow. Welcome back, everybody. There is a new donut shop in Minneapolis, uh, and they feature donuts you may not have ever seen or had. Mochi dough. It serves up uh, Japanese donuts. And if you're hesitant, we've sent our resident picky eater. Because again, Ted, Ted basically just eats a burger and maybe ketchup, and that's all that he eats. <laughs> our picky eater producer, Ted, to try them out. It's time for our latest edition of Ted Tries It. We're at Bober Tea and Mochi Dough. Nam, you own this place. Japanese donuts. What are we talking about here? What are these? It's an amazing type of donut where we use a high grade rice flour. What that creates for the donut is a chewy, uh, a bouncy interior inside and a crispy outside. Now I'm also told you have something else here. In addition to donuts, you have tea. Yes, we do. And you have an expert here. I do. I do. I have an expert that I can tell you more. How are you feeling, Teddy? Nervous at all? A little nervous. Not not insanely nervous, but a little nervous. Because I hear the tea, you can chew it a little bit, which I don't really like chewing. <laughs> you know you chew most food. <laughs> Aha, Lucinda, all the right. tea expert. I am, I am. All right, so this is our, our, our mung bean pandan. Um, and then I also threw in some konjac brown sugar jellies in there. I know. And then I also got our signature uh, milk tea drink, which is creme brulee with brown sugar on top. You also have our brown sugar stir-fried boba that we make fresh in-house daily. Ted, are you a big mung bean fan? Huge. <laughs> so there is a layer of shizu up top. And then there's also a layer of what? Of shizu. Oh. So it is our house. It's a it is like a cream cheese topping, but it's it's like it's very it's very exceptional. I you can't go wrong. And then, but you have to mix it. So you got to tip it upside down and give it a good shake. Yeah, give it a good shake. Hold on, Ted. You don't have to shake your head while you shake it. <laughs> what? Did I shake my head? <laughs> First sip. Here it goes. Oh, I didn't get any of the pearls. Oh, oh well, you gotta keep slurping. I got them. <laughs> oh, that's pleasant. Is it? Yeah. Right. I was not. I wasn't sure about that one. <laughs> Oh, well, are you ready for round two? So this is our mung bean pan dan. This is all made fresh in house. So we, we slow uh, cook our, our mung bean and then we add our pan dan leaf. And I know you love trying new things. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know, they, they're just here to have you like try food. They have to teach you how to eat. I always spill on the floor. Look at that. Pretty good. Yeah. I was sort of expecting it to be like a shamrock shake. Oh, well, that's just not. That's because of the green that, color. Yeah, that's, that's, that's misleading. So turns out I like the mung bean pandan panda pandan pandan latte. Latte. Yeah. Oh, uh, but what we're really here for are the donuts. We got cookies and cream, and then we got the taro. We got this black sesame, and then over here. We have funnel, we have the original, and then we have the curl as well. You know you know where I'd probably go first, right? That plain one is looking <laughs> yeah. mighty delicious. And I think I'm gonna first try the plain. Mmm. Mm hmm You make a good plain donut. <laughs> is that the best compliment you got on me? You make a good plain donut. So now you have the plane. I'm gonna challenge you to try the black sesame donut. That might be better than the plain donut. That was a winner. I'm not a plain donut guy anymore. High five. 
Yeah, you might still be a point, don't it? Yeah, you are. Ted joins us now. Ted? I, the audience may think it's a joke, but you really are a very picky eater. Am I right, my friend? Very picky. Yeah. Very picky. You're very plain. Like, what's your, like, what's a go-to meal for you? Peanut butter sandwich. That's it. That's an <laughs> audience. I'm not kidding. That's, anyway. Or, or if I'm feeling, you know, adventurous, roast beef. That's, ooh, that's, yeah, ooh. Ooh, right, audience? Anyway, did you, not just for TV, did you really like the, the last donut? Chewy. Good and it, it and yes and and you know how when you eat donuts it's it's great going in and you feel great and then like five minutes later you feel awful yeah the, your stomach just yeah it kind of I felt great after this what I the, felt great you know hours after Ted what's the um what's the, the when you bite into it because you know some they have cake donuts that are like a cake you have lighter donuts like a Krispy Kreme. What is it? What's the what's the bite of it? Is it crispy and then soft, or what is it like? It's yeah, maybe a little crispy and then chewy. And I, I, I you know, with the, with the drink and with the donuts, I can't really describe exactly what I was tasting other than I liked it. Okay, and that's all <laughs> and, we need. And it wasn't super sweet, you okay. know. Like the we don't need the super sweet. No. Just give us. Give a little bit of glaze. Good. A little glaze. Yeah. There we go. Give it up for Ted, everybody. You can find Boberti and Mochi Dough in Dinky Town. I love it. I can't wait to try it. We're going to take a break. When we come back, my top secret mission this weekend's reveal. Plus, we're opening up the Jason Show mailbag. Back after this. <laughs> Woo! Try those.